New model COG video does text to video. In partnership with Beijing Academy of Artificial Intelligence, Tsinghua University created an even more ambitious model called COG video, which can generate video clips from text. For example, a man skiing or a lion is drinking water. Large scale pre trained transformers have created milestones in text, such as GPT 3 and text-to-image generation such as DALI, CogView, and Google's Imagine. Its application to video generation is still facing many challenges, such as the potentially huge computational cost that makes the training from scratch unaffordable. Also, the scarcity and weak relevance of text video datasets, which hinder the model from understanding complex movement semantics. CogVideo is a transformer model with 9 billion parameters, which is trained by inheriting a pre-trained text-to-image model called CogView2. The researchers propose a multi-frame rate hierarchical training strategy to better align text and video clips. As this represents the first open source large-scale pre-trained text-to-video model, CogVideo outperforms all publicly available models at a large margin in machine and human evaluations. CogVideo is able to generate relatively high frame rate videos, but the actual text inputs are in Chinese. Breakthrough Living Skin for Robots a new process gave a robotic finger a skin-like texture, which is also resistant to water and able to heal itself. By molding the skin cells around the surface, the researchers were able to create a seamless covering on the finger. To create the skin, the team submerged a robotic finger in a solution of collagen and human dermal fibroblasts. The study's success was a product of the natural shrinking tendency of this collagen and fibroblast mixture. This was the foundation that provided a uniform surface for the next layer of cells, which were human epidermal keratinocytes. These cells make up 90% of the outermost layer of skin, giving the robot a skin-like texture and a moisture-retaining barrier. The skin was flexible enough to support the stretching and curling of the robotic finger, and the top layer was thick enough to be picked up with tweezers and repelled water as well, which made it perfect for tasks like handling electrostatically charged foam pieces, which are often used in packaging. When injured, the skin could heal itself with the help of a bandage made of collagen. To note, the artificial skin is not as tough as natural skin and also relies on nutrients and waste removal to stay healthy. After taking care of the issues with the skin, the team plans to include more sophisticated functional structures within it, such as sensory neurons, hair follicles, nails, and sweat glands. Living skin, if perfected, could provide robots with the appearance and touch of living creatures, further blurring the line between man and machine in the future. Advance in human-like metamemory allows artificial intelligence to know that it knows. A research group from the Graduate School of Informatics, Nagoya University, has taken a step towards creating a neural network with metamemory through a computer-based evolutionary experiment. Neural networks have been used to create artificial intelligence technology that functions in a similar way to the human brain. One goal of this field of researching is understanding the evolution of metamemory to use it to create artificial intelligence with a human-like mind, otherwise known as artificial general intelligence. Metamemory is the process of recalling past experiences in order to make decisions about present-day behaviors. In order to better understand the evolutionary origins of human thought and consciousness, researchers believe it's necessary to understand memory. When researchers study metamemory, they often use a delayed matching to sample task. This means that they wait a certain amount of time after seeing something to try to remember it later. In humans, this task consists of the participant seeing an object, such as a red circle, remembering it, and then taking part in a test to select what they had previously seen from multiple similar objects. Correct answers are given positive feedback, and incorrect answers are given negative feedback. However, the subject can choose to not do the test and still earn a smaller reward. A human performing this task would naturally use their metamemory to consider if they remembered seeing the object. If they remembered it, they would take the test to get a bigger reward, and if they were unsure, they would avoid risking the penalty and receive the smaller reward instead. Previous studies have shown that monkeys can do this task quite well. The Nagoya University team created an artificial neural network model that performed the delayed matching to sample task and analyzed how it behaved. Despite starting from random neural networks that did not even have a memory function, the model was able to evolve to the point that it performed similarly to the monkeys in previous studies. The neural network could examine its memories, keep them, and separate outputs. The intelligence was able to do this without requiring any assistance or intervention by the researchers, suggesting plausibility of it having metamemory mechanisms. AI Models Insight helps astronomers propose new theory for observing far-off worlds. Gravitational lensing occurs when light from far-off stars and other stellar objects bends around a nearer one directly between it and the observer, briefly giving a brighter but distorted view of the further one. UC Berkeley researchers trained a machine learning model on data known from gravity microlensing events with known causes and configurations, and then set it free on a bunch of others that were less well quantified. The results were unexpected. In addition to calculating when an observed event fell under one of the two main degeneracy types, it also found many that didn't. 
The two previous theories of degeneracy deal with the cases where the background star appears to pass close to the foreground star or the foreground planet. The AI algorithm showed hundreds of examples of not only these two cases, but also situations where the star doesn't pass close to either the star or the planet and cannot be explained by either previous theory. This could have resulted from a badly tuned model, or one that simply wasn't confident enough in its own calculations, but the researchers were convinced that the AI had clocked something that human observers had systematically overlooked. As a result, and after some convincing, they ended up proposing a new unified theory of how degeneracy in these observations could be explained, of which the two known theories were simply the most common cases. They looked at two dozen recent papers observing microlensing events and found that astronomers had been mistakenly categorizing what they saw as one type or the other when the new theory fit the data better than both. People were seeing these microlensing events which were actually exhibiting the new degeneracy but just didn't realize it. It was really just the machine learning looking at thousands of events where it became impossible to miss. To be clear, the artificial intelligence didn't formulate and propose the new theory, but without the systematic and confident calculations of the AI, it's likely the simplified, less correct theory would have persisted for many more years. Just as people learn to trust calculators and later computers, researchers are trusting some AI models to output an interesting truth, which is clear of preconceptions and assumptions. The new theory and description of the process leading up to it are described in a paper published in the journal Nature Astronomy.